All right, hello everybody. This is gonna be an overview video of the settings for Unreal Tournament 4. Remember that this is the pre-alpha version. It's a very early version of the game. A lot of things will change once it's fully released. All right, so we're gonna jump right into it, starting with the play menu here. It's gonna have everything you'd expect it to have. Quick play links for Deathmatch and CTF. You can also create your own game. And then find a game is gonna bring you to the server browser. And if you have an IP that you know, you can connect directly to it using this right here. All right, moving forward with the learn tab here, you have two options, basic training and training videos. The basic training is gonna bring you into a pre-made training level. It's gonna introduce you to the weapons, the pickups, and the movement of Unreal Tournament 4. I recommend going through that if you're a beginner. It's very helpful. And then after that, there's the training videos that go into more advanced ta tactics and techniques. I recommend checking that out. It's very useful stuff. Then moving on, if you click on my username here, this is going to bring in the login for Epic Games. Um, I'm already logged in, so I'm not sure why it asked me to enter it, but there it is. And then moving on after that is the um, stats button. It's going to bring you to all of your stats that you have in multiplayer. It's going to show you weapon stats as well as recent match history statistics. Um, you see up here in the top left corner the Unreal Tournament logo. If you click that, that's going to bring you back to the home screen. And then moving on, you can show your friends list. I don't have any friends at the moment. It just shows that I'm online. I can change that to away if I wanted to. And then you just click that to hide it again. And then moving on to the game settings menu. Here we have player, weapon, system, and control settings. We'll go through each menu here. Uh, the player settings is going to show what your player looks like, your username for your player online. The country flag is displayed in the score menu when you press tab at the end of games, etc. Your hat, you have right now you have the options to choose from beanie, no hat, or a beret, which I personally like. Eyewear, there's no options yet for this character. Uh, right now it's Malcolm. You can change it to a uh, Necris male. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it looks pretty cool. But I prefer to play as Malcolm. Kind of looks different than the old Malcolm, but hey, it's still pretty cool. And then from here you can change your weapon bob as well as your view bob. If you just hit OK, we'll get returned back to the main menu here and then moving on to weapon settings. Here's just where you prioritize your weapons. Uh, I just have it as default right now. Here you can turn on or off the weapon switch on pickup. Uh, so for example, if you have the rocket launcher already equipped and you run over an impact hammer, it's not going to switch to it because it has a lower priority. Pretty self-explanatory. We hit OK, we get out of that and go into system settings. There's not a whole lot here. Remember this is pre-alpha, but it has your basic settings, resolution, full screen, V-Sync, um, your, you know, your frame rate cap and your smooth frame rate. So I just have this all default right now. I'm, I play at 1080. And then moving on to the graphics tab here, you can set up the screen percentage, um, your texture, shadow, and effects, details, um, your quality of that, and then your post-process quality. I have these all set to the highest, which is epic. Remember, this is epic games, so makes sense. I have the AA mode set as temporal at the moment, and my field of view and decal lifetime are just defaults. If you move over to audio, you just have four settings here, master volume. I tried to turn down quite a bit because it was loud in my headphones. Um, the music volume, I don't really like it being that loud. And then effects and voice volumes all the way up for me. From there, for moving to control settings, this is going to be obviously where you set up your bindings. Uh, I pretty much have all mine set to default. I accept the single tap dodge. I have it set to my um, <clears throat> thumb mouse button, which I would recommend doing so you don't have to move your fingers away from the, you know, the regular WASD keys. And, you know, your basic controls, you can throw your weapon down, 
Uh, they do have a couple of taunts in here, which is funny, you know. And then showing scores, all that good stuff. And here's your mouse settings. Uh, being a, this is a first person shooter, I usually leave this stuff off and I recommend you do the same. Um, I have my mouse sensitivity at 4.4, I think it was defaulted at around 8, so I cut it in half. Helped me out a lot. And then here's your movement settings. Not exactly sure what each one of these does, but I just have them all as default. And then from here you can clear your game settings to default if you'd like. And then moving on to the information tab, from here you can access the credits, you can go to the Unreal Tournament website and the forums, also shows your network version. And that's about it, that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed the video, 